yeah, brother. You're on the Please Me Fall on YouTube channel. Damn. Look at you, big old boy, lowering that thing down. All right, now jump off it. <laughs> so hopefully that's how low it sits, or lower. It should be lower. Should be lower. All right, guys, first thing before today's video really gets going is in the description, there are going to be two links to two different polls, right? So if you guys saw the live feed, we were talking about what the best daily driver would be for me to pick up instead of the C7. I think it is finally time that I am going to get rid of the C7. It's just not practical anymore. Holly cannot ride on it. And it's very important that Holly, our beloved golden retriever, can ride to work with us and be comfortable. She hates riding in the dually and we can't get rid of the dually because we need it for uh, the trucks and trailers and all that. Honestly, the ride in the dually is, is rough. Cooper knows it too. Yeah. So the thing rides super hard. We do drive the Tahoe and the wagon a lot, but I want to get something that Holly can ride in. I can take through a car wash. I can freaking rip still. And if you didn't see the live feed, you can go back and watch it. Went through a whole bunch of stuff, whether it was a Jeep Trackhawk or a supercharged Tahoe. Tons of ideas already on there, but you guys can go in the poll and vote for whatever you guys think and add your own options. And then the other thing, there's gonna be another link for another poll, which is gonna be the name of the galaxy. And I saw some that I really liked. One of them being Stranger. Did you guys see any that you liked? I was thinking like real steel or something, because it's yeah. an old school, big old boat. It's real steel. It's steel. Yeah, what do you think? You see any good ones? I haven't seen anything that really jumped out at me. Yeah. I think Stranger is the only thing I like because we don't know anything about it. Have you seen that movie, Real Steel, the robot movie? Yeah, yeah. Where he I finds that you... robot in the junkyard, kind of looks <laughs> just like this. Yeah, thing. I know what yeah. you mean. Okay. We got a couple options. So please go vote on both of those things. All right, guys. So this is how this is going to work. I had to use Facebook to create this poll. It ended up being the best option. Now, I know a lot of you guys probably don't have a Facebook account, but they're free to make. And we're going to be using this Facebook group to be voting on things in the future as well. The best way to find our Facebook group is to go to the Cletus McFarland Facebook page, go over to the groups tab, and you'll see a group called Boggers United. You have to request to join, and we'll be approving requests all day long, so just wait a few minutes and you'll be approved to join. Within the group, you'll see two polling options, one for the daily driver, one for the galaxy name. You can go and vote on options that are existing or add your own option if you have a name or a car that you really like and everyone can vote from that point on. I think we're gonna bog deep with this group. This group's gonna be awesome because we can post updates on builds, things like that, and also use it for polling in the future. So join the group, make an account. If you only have to use it for this, so be it. It's free to use and it'll be an awesome tool for the future. And for those of you who guys who are gonna miss the C7, I completely agree with you, but it does just sit around. It'd be better off in someone's hands and we are gonna be getting a new C8. It's time for the C7 to go, unfortunately. I, I really think it is time for it to go. I wanna get prepared for the C8. We already have two Corvettes that make double the horsepower. And I know it was the OG C7. We will make a farewell video for her. It's just that time. So it's going to break some hearts, but it is what it is. So vote on those two polls. But today we're talking about the Galaxy. Let's get into it. All right, guys. Today the plan is to figure out how we are going to bag this thing. So I already actually have the air ride stuff here. We made this happen quick. And this is uh, the solution to our sketchy driving situation, hopefully. Because the car sways so much with the current coils that it's on. We knew it needed air ride right when we got it because it's gonna look a lot better, drive better, the whole nine yards. So we got some air ride stuff today that we're gonna be opening up. Kind of excited, see how the Galaxy will look. Let's push down up here real quick too and see what that'll look like. Hmm, okay. Yeah, damn. Damn, damn dude. Yeah, our dad bots. Oh, dude, this thing's gonna look so good. So the only thing we have to keep in mind though, guys, is the lowest thing on this is the transmission uh, oil pan or fluid pan. So that's, it's not that high off the ground. It's not that low though. So we should, uh, we should be able to slam this thing pretty good and be able to drive it still. But uh, before we even get to any of the engine components, anything like that, we are gonna bag this thing. You know, normally our first route with anything is to go all out on the performance side of things. We're gonna switch it up on this. We're gonna do a lot of voting and things like that to get this going. All right, so everything you're gonna see today, I got from my buddy Wes. It's all airlift stuff and he hooked it all up. He spec'd it all out. All we did was send him pictures of basically the inside of the wheel wells and things like that. I told him, you know, we wanna be able to have it versatile maybe even tow an open trailer with one of the Corvettes on it to the track. So he got us set up here and we're about to open up this stuff and see what we got. 
So these two boxes have the basic stuff in it. So we'll okay. start with them. Yeah, let's start. Got the fancy That's stuff. the fancy stuff. All right, let's do it. Whoa, airbags. Oh wow, they're all four the exact same. Yep. I figured they'd be like the RV, like some different ones in the back. No. Well, this this car is coil spring all the way around. Yeah. So this has your standard size bag, mm. rated to 200 psi. Dang. So you replace the coil spring with perches that hold yeah. this bag. The bags fold in. And it, do these have a shock built in them? You don't need a shock or anything, right? Yeah. Well, there's you could still run a shock. Yeah. To keep some stability there, to keep balance out of it. These shocks are shot in here. Yeah. But. So we'll probably have to go to a shorter body shock anyways. Oh, okay. We'll put these on. But yeah. Otherwise it'll you bounce know, Real a basic. Bit. You just build a flat plate off a perch, off a perch where the spring was. and. Yeah. And you kind of build the perch to the range of low and high you yeah. want. Okay. All right. Cool. So there's our bags. We got a slam specialties. A couple of things here. Is that what brand the bags are? Slam specialties? It's oh, like it the kid is. Yeah, the kid. All right, what do we got here? Oh, this here. is that our tank? This is your Dang. air tank. Dang. Spun aluminum. Spun aluminum? Yeah, see it. Wow. Oh. A fancy look to it. Dude, yeah, that's perfect. On the side, mountain tabs on Should the we bottom. leave it out in the rain for a little bit so it looks like the rest of the car? oxidize. <laughs> Dang, that's almost too fancy for this thing. Spray some purple power on it, leave it out in the rainwater, let it Man. oxidize real Dude, deep. Dude, that'll fit perfectly in that trunk, too, because there's plenty of room back there for yeah. that. 200 PSI. 200 PSI. Yep, airlift. All right, so this is the fancy stuff, James. What you got? Let's do this it. here is your all-in-one compressor. You Ooh, got two compressors oh. for this kit. Two compressors, huh? Yeah. Let's start with that. Just, uh, just to fill the volume faster. Yeah. So if you're bogging up and down, you yeah. Can, okay. So you're not having to wait for you know, all right. air all the way out or fill your bags all the way. Yeah. You don't have to wait so long for your tank to fill back up. Oh, nice. There's all our fittings lines things like that like, even comes with teflon tape comes with bolts to mount it dude that's pretty cool that it comes with it comes with two a controller no that, oh that's the some wiring stuff this is the oh yeah this is a big Damn. Relay. oh this looks so fancy what is this this is the controller Woo! this is the oh, look at that thing hang oh like a freaking standalone. This better be able to be controlled by an app or this is your controller. I will be so excited. Okay, let's see what we got. Okay. It's got a LCD screen on it. It's oh, got all your buttons and whatnot. So you raise and lower it. It's got presets and all that stuff. Whoa, that is yeah. sick. Alright, put that back in there. We don't we don't want to lose that. That's the control box. This is the control box. Yeah, all your valves and whatnot are in this box. Oh really? So it's got some solenoids in it that release and add air where needed. Wow. Damn, look at that. See all the ports on the back? Yeah. Wow. You just plug it in there. It's got some Yeah, it plugs in it plugs into this to control your power, ground, all that yeah. stuff. Be powered. And we got miscellaneous parts in here. Yeah, okay. This is this is the That's the heart of the yeah. whole operation right there. This controls you, you know, front left, front right, rear left, rear, oh, rear okay. right, and stuff like that. What is that? Tank the exhaust and tank. Exhaust. Okay. Dang. Dude, we are hot boys with this yeah. this bog in these freaking airbags. How long do you think this will take us to do? A day or two or what? A day or two, yeah. Okay. So what else do we have in this? Is there anything else? There's, Looks like there might be some more down below. Okay, so that's all our harness and hose. Is that it? It seems so simple. It is. I mean, air ride is pretty simple. Once you get the bags in. The, the tricky part is the geometry of the bag. Okay. You're getting the bag in there right to where it's lifting the yeah. car level and it's not. You don't want the bag when it expands to bow. You okay. want it to expand even. Hmm. Hey, look at this. All right, so let's uh, should we rack the car up and show everyone what we yeah. what we're working with? Okay, because no, I don't think anyone really has an idea of what the suspension looks like on a 1965 Galaxy, but we're gonna show you. <coughs> yeah, the axle does droop quite a bit. Give us some room to weld on stuff in there, though, right? Yeah, that's good. Interesting. You know, these wheels aren't growing on me. We've never even been underneath this thing. No, I'm just noticing, I think he had lights back here, but they probably got destroyed in the burnout contest. <laughs> he does have lights back there. They're like fog lights. We've never been under this, guys. Wow, it looks like somebody hit that pan a bunch of times. Oh yeah, he gave us a new pan for the, uh, for the it transmission. Like freaking Hulk had his way with that pan. <laughs> well, you never said it caught the trailer unloading it. Yeah, he caught the trailer on it. 
Dude, yeah, the uh, the transmission pan's already pretty beat, so we won't really have to worry about beating it up anymore. It is leaking a little bit. We definitely have to put the other one on there. Yeah, we have the. Close the gap from here to the filter in there, and it's bad. Okay, It'll well, the transmission at least we bit. have the other one. So, that's dirty under here, but it is what it is, you know? We didn't do some of this stuff, so we're going to have to deal with it. There's that big old converter in there. It's really not in too bad a shape down here, though. I wanted to see, oh yeah, those mounts for the engine don't look too bad. It's not horrible. Definitely mounts solid mounts. Yeah, dude, it's pretty solid. As you guys can see from this angle, the lowest thing is gonna be the engine oil pan and the transmission oil pan is also pretty dang low. But other than that, dude, underneath this thing is clean. I mean, the frame is all in really good shape. I don't see any major rust spots, do you guys? No, no. I mean, there's definitely some surface rust. There's probably definitely some deeper rust than that too around here, but. Not it's horrible. Also, it's solid. Well, can't beat that. So what do you think on this? Uh, looks like there's a lot of room there for an airbag. Yeah, so pretty much we're going to replace this coil spring with the bag. Okay. And then go to a shorter body shock. Yep. So this way our ride height's lower and then our compression and extension of the shock will work with the airbag. Okay. All right. Sounds good. And then sounds good. And then front you eliminate yeah, let the me shock. Get, let me get a back view for everybody who wants to see the detailed stuff. You can see our shock is there. Might have to go shorter on that. And you can see where the coil sits up there. We might not have to do much to the top there as far as just getting a bolt in it is gonna be the most difficult thing. Or maybe maybe even lowering that perch down. Yeah, really what we're gonna do is pull off the shocks and the coil springs mm -hmm. and let the car go back on the ground uh, and see what it is. See air it if, out. See if it'll frame out without you know, something hitting dry shaft hitting floor. Oh. Make sure our you know our torsion Dang. bars on the rear end and all this will work. And if that's the case, then we mount the bag to where it fully compressed, it's it's aired out, framed okay. out. So uh it appears here is oh, the drive shaft and the yoke is hitting a little bit there. It's made contact once or twice. <laughs> it's made contact. So we've actually noticed that when you're riding dirty with, you know, three or four people it does already hit. Well you get Cooper's dad bought in there. You hear that? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. firing shots of the dad bod. Wow. Low, low He's blow. Me, I guarantee. Low blow. He doesn't have a kid though. It's just a bod. <laughs> it's a, it's a, I don't just know. a bod. I think we're pretty close. How much do you weigh? I'm light. People think I'm heavy, but I'm How light. How much do you weigh? What you got on that thing? Guess. I'd say 205. Oh well, yeah, I'm like 204. 204. Same I can weight. be 190. Same weight. So. We but. have a scale here if you want to see. All right, let's break out the scale in a second. But for, <laughs> we should probably, I'll, I'll, I want to weigh the Galaxy too, but we uh, <laughs> we might just want to take a uh, freaking we'll, sledgehammer and no, clean we'll, that out. We'll, we'll do it right. We'll probably cut this out and just notch it a little bit. Yeah, if it's under the seat, you don't need that clearance. Okay, cool. Although you don't want this. That's like that's bad. Yeah, I mean, we don't want that hitting anymore. You don't want that touching when it's when it's when out there. laid out too. So if it gets stupid low, it's gonna hit again. We probably have to fix that. You can see where it's already put marks on the drive shaft and whatnot, so. It's a very crucial spot of the drive yeah. shaft. Yeah. All right, so up here, oh yeah, it kind of looks the same. It's got that coil. Yes, yeah, coil that. spring holds the weight the shock helps with the mounts. Yeah. Is the theory up here. Um, so we have to ditch the shock up here, really. Yeah, the shock The shock in the front goes, goes away. Um, the Maybe only thing though with this somewhere else geometry had of this, all these bars, yeah. like this torsion bar and stuff like that, you just gotta make sure none of that goes wonky when you lower it. Okay. You know, it's sitting in a parking lot aired out is fine, but drivability, like your right your new ride height, you gotta make sure it's not trying to push the tire funny. Oh. Wow. It'll make it hard to turn. You think our bags like will fit in there? It looks like it. Yeah, they should. This Dang, is dude. Really you know, nice we could build a, a And it's flat drooped plate. all the way down right now. Yeah, we build a flat plate and then something with a stand that comes out past this okay. bag will sit like right here. Dude, this is some wild stuff. I've never really dabbled in suspension stuff, so this is definitely really interesting for Cooper and I because really all we've ever done is just coilover installs, which is kind of like bolt off, bolt on. This will be the first uh, suspension setup we ever change. Custom. So what do you think tomorrow? Let's dyno it and then yeah, we'll see, tear apart on. the suspension after that. Well, down the road we're gonna make more power with it, so it'd be cool 100%. to get a, get a baseline. Let's get the baseline and just go from there. Not that the suspend, not that the suspension is gonna change the power at all, but we are going to uh, get a baseline before we do anything to this thing. All right, so that is our quick introduction to bagging the Galaxy. The next video on the Galaxy 
it's probably gonna be a dyno video. To do the dyno video, we're still trying to figure out how we're gonna dyno this thing without trashing the shop with black smoke. So whether that's making a flex exhaust that goes all the way out the shop or using PVC, which might melt, I really don't know. We're gonna figure it out. If you're a diesel guy, comment below. Let us know what you've done because I'm sure all these high power diesel guys do it too because a lot of shops won't allow you to blow smoke into their ceiling. And that's the last thing we wanna do here. So we're gonna figure out how to dyno it, hopefully do that tomorrow. And then the following video to that will be us bagging it, which is gonna be a sweet process because we've never done it. You guys will get the whole freaking info blast on how to bag a car and you can kind of see it firsthand, how we do it, how we learn, how we make it happen. From there, it's performance mods. And you know this thing needs bigger turbo and it needs more fuel. Wheels too wheels too so you guys got a little plan on the galaxy now and don't forget to go and vote on those two polls but that is it for now thanks for watching do it for dale we will freaking see you later